Hi, my name is Siz. I work within the Click practice at DBG. Today I'm going to do a very short demo on a concept called Slippy Maps within ClickSense, and it's available within ClickSense as opposed to ClickSense Desktop currently, but I'm sure that's going to be merged into ClickSense Desktop as well in due course in terms of the options of choosing different Slippy Maps. Currently, the only Slippy Map available in ClickSense Desktop is OpenStreetMap. Slippy Map is just the general term used to describe modern web-based maps on which users can interact with through panning and zooming. Let's go into ClickSense Hub and access an existing app that I've created that uses different Slippy Map objects. I've named the app Sleepy Maps. Let's click into that. And the first thing you'll see is the number of sheets. Well, we've got a Sleepy Map for OpenStreetMap, one for MapQuest, and another for MapBox. So when I go into OpenStreetMaps, straight away you can see an existing map, and I've overlaid some customer information by population across the UK. The map object allows you to do the standard things such as zoom in and zoom out, uh, pan to the left, pan to the right, uh, click and pan, oh, nice and simple. Um, really nice feature in uh, click sense is the lasso, and I can just draw a nice circle around the Northern Ireland area, confirm my selection, and it zooms in. And I can see population density, uh, both by size and by color. So let's look at how that map was actually created. Creating a map in Sense is pretty straightforward. There are lots of videos that talk about the different ways in which you can do so. Uh, so I won't labor the point, but ultimately I'm just going to edit my app, go into the sheets that I've got available, and just create a new sheet. Let's just call this one Demo. And once we've set that up, it'll appear in my list. I click into that. So I've just basically created a new sheet. To create a map, you simply click on the map object and drag it onto the center of the screen. One thing you'll notice is that the word beta is not included on this version here. So this is a fully functional map. Uh, they've taken out the beta element to it. And if I wanted to draw the number of towns in the UK for my customers, I've got my list of uh, fields here, which I haven't created into, into dimensions as yet, but just to, sh to show the point, or I can just click on Add Dimension there, and it's effectively uh, put the points in. Now, because I'm looking at the previous bunch of customers that I selected in Northern Ireland, it simply put in the points for Northern Ireland. Uh, we'll see that later on when I clear my selection. The next bit is to add the background to the map, and this is where things become different between ClickSense and uh, ClickSense Desktop, but ultimately I think they're just going to merge into having the same functionality once the beta version for ClickSense Desktop has been uh, sort of completed and the release version is live. So on the desktop element, I'm just going to turn on the Show Desktop and the slippy map XYZ. So that might change as well, and perhaps there might be other providers uh, in addition to slippy map. But on this interface here, you've got the click uh, to URL and, attri and attributes or attributions. And if I click to that, that will take me on to a help section within the click help area. And I can just simply copy the URL that's available to me take it back into Sense, drop that into that section, and I get the background appearing, and you can see Northern Ireland there. To populate the attribution section, I'll go back again to the Click documentation page and copy the attribution string. The only change that happens is this section here where we've got OpenStreetMap contributions, which takes you to the OpenStreetMap page for the contributions area. 
um, just confirming the use of the Slippy map uh, through OpenStreetMaps. So I don't think that's probably technically necessary to add there. Um, however, I think this whole interface will probably change in due course in the sense that you won't have to go to the documentation uh, to copy the URLs as I've done. You'd simply drop down and select the uh, Slippy Map option you'd like to use and uh, just simply renders. That's, that's how I would imagine that to play out in due course. So once you've done that, you're pretty much complete. You've created a map in ClickSense. Uh, it took a few more seconds longer because I was explaining it, but literally you can cl create a ClickSense map in literally 10 seconds. So it's very, very simple to put together. I'm just going to click on Done. We're back to our interface. I've still got the Northern Ireland selection there. So when I take that away, I can see the whole of the UK and where my customers are placed. I can right click and go to navigation and do all the things you'd expect to do with the map. So clearly the main difference here is um, things like the sizing of the map points based on population and the color and all those kind of features. Um, those are all possible, of course. If I just go and edit the uh, map, or the sheet. I'll come back to the object, click on the object, and there are a whole host of other options to change things here, one of them being about the colors and the legend. But before we go there, let's go back to layers. Something else that you can't do in uh, ClickSense Desktop is to add the expression and then color by expression as well as the bubble sizes. So uh, let's just give a simple expression. Let's say uh, count the number of customers that are in each town. So if we just do count customers and when I click on that um, you can see that the map has changed and it's now sizing the bubbles based on the number of customers. So I can choose as well how I want those, the size to interact and you can see there's smaller and bigger bubbles. Probably not the best data set here because they're quite similar in each town but um, you can see some outliers there and we'll drill down to show that as well. So again, this, this slider that we see here is a feature that's not in the beta version of the map uh, object. Um, it's only in the uh, ClickSense uh, full, full product. So great, so we've got another uh, expression there that's determining the size of the bubbles. When we go to the appearance and we look at uh, color, for example, it automatically sets the colors and turn off the auto color and move from just a single color to coloring by dimension or by measure. Again, in the beta version, I don't believe you can color by measure. You can certainly color by dimension and you can see how the uh, colors change there. So that's really trying to um, have a different color for each town. Obviously at that level, um, there will be a repeat colors because of this uh, color palette here. There's only 12 colors in there. Um, I think that can be changed if you need to, but uh, ultimately there's only so many different ways you can uh, color based on that number of points. It becomes easier to see once you drill in as a differentiator, but even in this sense, it does it does work to an extent. Um, but instead of doing it by dimension, I think it'll be more common to color the map points by measure and uh, we can see that changing there as well. Um, so obviously you'd have to give it the right kind of uh, breaks between the colors and there's different ways of doing that. So in this element here we've got a definition of the range and I think my data set probably has got more sensitivity in the groups of hundreds and we can see that change and there are various options to select by classes, by gradient, uh, by sequential classes, etc., etc., and we're just watching that uh, that map change um, based on the selections that we're making. So we can go done and go back into the main app. And uh, I really love this lasso feature; it works really nicely. Let's go back to Northern Ireland again. Uh, let's get that done and apply our selection. And when you go in again, you can see that obviously that's going to be Belfast. Um, it's got a bigger population than Londonderry, uh, which has got a smaller population in comparison. They're both quite high in the spectrum of um, the uh, range of, of, of customers, 
but the size of the bubble is also telling us a second story there. So combination of color and size on a map, um, it all comes together very nicely in ClickSense. So this video is really to talk about the different options of Slippy Map that you have available to you uh, by just simply changing the uh, map provider that you use and um, seeing that map render different colors. There's some that are like dark background uh, maps, uh, which is quite nice. And um, it all comes to be together quite nicely. Um, but uh, that's that's almost a glimpse into what's going to be available in ClickSense Desktop once the beta version has been released uh, or or uh, decommissioned for the for the release version. Um, and again, I think all this stuff is going to merge into one. It's just uh, just being con being aware that the uh, existing uh, ClickSense uh, Desktop version does have a beta. Uh, map component and once that's gone I think these features will be there and it's just the beginning of the journey in terms of how that's all going to work again I think all the features around uh, copying and pasting this, this information into your application that's all going to go and it'll just be a drop down and choose your Slippy map uh, provider hopefully that was helpful um, gives you a glimpse into what's coming if you already have ClickSense uh, as the full product Obviously, you've got those features available to you today. Thank you for your time.